John talk to me. What do you know? I don't know, yeah. This one is loaded with implications of another dimension of life. There is this kind of anticipation that something horrible is going to happen. So it's a new version of this serial killer thriller. A series of crimes take place in an American city, and the style of murder is very peculiar. Usually an injection in the back of the neck, and there's a kind of ceremony around the dead body. Crime scenes so far have yielded nothing. And the FBI has no clue whatsoever, so they ask Clancy, the psychic, for help. I think it's a big mistake. Apart from wasting time and resources, it's bringing an unknown into a bad Not situation. Not unknown at all. He was working with the FBI to solve cold cases, and then he would have real success. Over there. Nobody knows why the serial killer behaves the way he does, the way he kills people. At the beginning of the movie, he's alone, his wife has left him, his daughter is dead, and so he lives like a recluse. I've got a situation. I told you, I'm not interested. By the way, who's your girlfriend? Agent Cowell is played by Abby Cornish. She's a straight play by the numbers FBI agent. She doesn't believe my psychic abilities. She's a non-believer because she just hasn't had any experience in this field. I don't hold an ounce of confidence in the paranormal. I feel the same about shrinks. Give me a little finger, they'll take your whole hand. Whoever said that has obviously never met a good one. You're Sigmund Freud. Events unfold and convinces me that I really should get involved in this because it's a fascinating subject, this serial killer I'm looking for. I wanted to meet you for the longest time. My character thought that his mission in life, his purpose, is to kill people for the greater good. He's a fanatic and he's mentally unstable, very dangerous, so I've got to take mine. FBI, FBI! It's a trap, the whole thing's a trap and we're walking right into it. He's way ahead of us and we're doing exactly what he wants us to do. Don't you get it? It's a cat and mouse game between our serial killer and Hopkins and I. All your visions are becoming real. Also, the movie has some action has this suspense element and has the visual element, of course, because of his clairvoyance. It's extraordinary acting with great characters and with this very unique visual flair. The game stops here and now. It works on a human level and then there's the thriller aspect. Take the shot! Take the shot! Everything in this movie is a red herring to keep the audience guessing until the very last frame. You won't see anything coming. Sometimes the greatest acts of love are the hardest acts to commit. Say hello to your destiny, Joe.